we support uh, lots of learning within the sector. So uh, we have a huge training programme. Uh, we have a, an SVQ centre. So we support CPD generally um, across the sector. But in terms of CLD, um, we do a number of things. We've actually accessed a, a lot of um, upskilling funding over the past two to three years and introduced a number of different programmes for CLD workers in Glasgow, um, particularly looking at the current economic environment and supporting CLD workers to examine their skills in dealing with the impacts of the current economic climate on communities. So some really innovative programmes we've been working on um, around that. And the other big thing that we're uh, just launching is a CPD network, uh, a CPD, sorry, a CLD CPD network, um, which is going to be looking at a number of things, but specifically looking at national policy and city policy and the role of CLD workers within that. So um, things like the Christie Commission and maybe having a chance to get a presentation on that and then debating what's the role of CLD workers um, within that. And the other big thing about the network will be sort of a voice um, in the city for CLD workers. And quite interestingly, um, having been part of some of the discussions today, for example, uh, looking at can we put proposals to Glasgow City Council around the role of CLD? Um, so we're doing a lot of work um, around CLD and using the CLD standards uh, competency framework um, in a lot of the training that we do. So a huge role in terms of working with the third sector and more increasingly not just um, the third sector but also CLD workers in other sectors as well. Um, and supporting that. So quite a lot of work that we do, but we have a, a large role in that. We take CPD very seriously um, and have quite a large uh, role to play in learning in the city.